cortical fracture is, is among the mandibular fracture. As you all know, mandible is the only moving bone among the facial skeleton, which is situated in the lower half of the facial skeleton. And it terminates with this bulbar joint of the bulbar head of the content with the base of the skull of glenoid fossa. Which has been attached with the rest of the mandible by a stalk like structure called neck of the content. As you all know, among the mandible, this is the biggest portion of the mandible, so that there is most which is more common for fracture. So the Different people have given different classification on the basis of the etiology, pathogenicity, and the clinical behavior of that uh, fracture. To have a common point, we have basic fracture, condylar fracture, intracapsular, and extracapsular. The intracapsular fracture is head of the content, get fractured within the capsule, that is called TM joint capsule or lateral ligament capsule. Other uh, the extra capsular fracture is fracture below the capsule, uh, 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 apart from the capsule, below the capsule, mainly of neck of the content. So, now the type of fracture depends upon the most common type of fracture depends upon the attachment of the soft structures, especially the lateral shellguard muscle, which is the attachment of the pterygoid phobia. phobia it usually gets pulled back, fractured content to its anterior medial, which is the most common type of uh, content of fracture. For the clinical fracture case, the different people are given. I should this is the Linda's classification, which is the Linda's as the most common one. Linda's classification is in the year 1977. Another equation of the fracture, content head, content neck, content subcontent. On the head, on the neck, and so on. Next, the relationship of the cardinal fracture to the mandible, non displaced by his press guard and deviated towards the anterior. Displaced with the medial and lateral part, poor lap, third guard, and displacement with the anterior and posterior poor lap. No contact with the fracture of the segments, that is the last step. The relationship of the contact is head and torso. Non displacement, displacement, and dislocation. This is the key type. And another most rare uh, type of contact fracture is displacement of the contact, fracture contact head to the intracranial fossa, which is a rare type of thing. You usually get in the gunshot injuries and war injuries, which requires opening up the base of the skull and remove the other fracture from, from the base of the skull. That is, uh, accordingly, it is very rare type, especially less than 5% of the uh, contact fracture, among the contact uh, fractures. Now, coming to the point, the clinical behavior of the contact fractures. As you all know, the contact, head of the contact, which gently glide within the green eye fossa makes a mandible move gently and three dimensional movements. Once a contact head or neck of the contact fracture, the vertical height of the ascending grammars get disturbed so that there is difficulty and deviation of the mandible taking place in case of mandible of um, contact fracture. For, for an example, unilateral contact fracture at the level of neck of the content, the mandible moves towards the fracture side by an opening and closing. Whereas in case of bilateral content of fracture, the, there will be posterior premature contact with that of anterior open pipe. This is mainly because of the lack of vertical height of the ascending dramas. When the normal vertical height, the fulcrum of the mandible, which lies over the junction of the horizontal body with that of vertical ramus at the center, when there is a contact fracture, the fulcrum moves agitated towards the third molar region, so that when the patient opens, tries to open or close among there, there will be posterior premature contact with that of anterior open pipe. This is a classical clinical symptom of 
ไปนั้นเป็นการไปรับแฟร์ Other features, clinically, if you examine, there be extraordinary bleeding and swelling over the PR blood region, and patient got pain and difficulty in opening and closing the mouth. Confirm the content of fracture. Tiny behind the patient, put the index finger or small fingers to the extraordinary canal, and ask the patient to open and close the mouth. Usually, in a normal condition, you get a contral arch. With the absence of contact lucky, we can conclude to the fracture and the contact and the other contact. Other clinical aids to lead the classification apps. Sorry, other clinical aids to confirm the diagnosis is X-ray, mainly of OPG and CT, 3D CT. OPG is of great value in case of unilateral as well as bilateral contact lucky fracture. The sense when there is unilateral contact lucky fracture. The amount of displacement, the type of fracture, all this can be compared to that of normal contact. Whereas in case of bilateral contact fracture, also the amount of displacement, displacement, type of contact fracture, according to the classification, we can very well find out. And next is the third 3D CT, which which shows the proximity of the fracture fragment to the adjacent structures. Like it is medially or distally, how far it is, more displaced to the perfect 90 percent. We can very well assess by seeing the 3D CT. 